Buckeye Nation, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. Today I wanted to talk about Jordan Lyle, and I'm kind of doing a little series of videos here where I talk about 2024 commits that I think could potentially have an early impact. Now, Jordan Lyle is not the highest rated running back in Ohio State's 24 class. That would be James Peoples. They also have Sam Dixon Williams, who is a in-state kid, which I love. I love the fact that the Buckeyes are giving a lower-rated in-state kid an opportunity. So they have two other running backs in this class. But Jordan Lyle was the one that caught my eye, and I really felt the need to make a video about. He plays big-time football down there at St. Thomas in the state of Florida, same school that produced Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, and many others. I loved what he did his past season. Um, he actually played a team that's very close to where I live, St. Joe's Prep, and he absolutely ran wild all, all over them. St. Joe's came down to Florida, and they played well, but they lost that game. But Jordan Lyle just kind of strikes me as a guy who kind of has that mold of like a Dallin Hayden, you know, not the highest rated guy in the world, but he can come in and he can make an impact for the Buckeyes. I mean, that's just my opinion, though. If you guys have another player or another running back in 2023 or 2024 even, I'd be open to hearing your thoughts on the impact that you think that, that they could potentially have e even this season for the 2023 guys, but specifically focusing on the future here in 2024. I, re I really love Jordan Lyle's tape. What can I say? I think that I mean, the running back room is as stacked right now as it's ever been. Travion Mayan, Dallin Hayden, Chip Trayanum right now, Evan Pryor. You know, you think about, I mean, that room's five or six deep. I, I know I'm forgetting some. I'm forgetting some people, but that room is stacked right now. 